Hello, I'm Jesse Williams. And I'm Tasha Rogers. Ready for fall break? Yes, I am. I'm ready for that five-day weekend. Mm, amen. With all this beautiful weather and the rains from the tropical storm, Nate, behind us, it's time to get out and enjoy the outdoors. There are over 50 trails to be hiked within 30 minutes from downtown Chattanooga. Many popular destinations are located on Lookout Mountain, the Glen Falls Trail off of Ox Highway. On the way up to the mountain from St. Amo is a short trail with great views and a good place to stretch your legs. Sunset Rock on top of Lookout Mountain is another place, popular spot from a small parking lot. You can hike down to see a breathtaking view off of Lookout Valley and to connect to various trails from hiking and trail runnings. It is a bit more strenuous to get back up to your car. For more information about hiking in Chattanooga, visit hikingchattanooga.com or rootsrated.com slash Chattanooga TN. A bitter feud between President Trump and key GOP senator. Potential deal on dreamers hitting a brick wall. And Vice President Mike Pence talking, uh, taking central stage in the NFL kneeling controversy. In a scathing critique, Senator Bob Corker telling the New York Times that President Trump's reckless threats could put the U.S. on the path to World War III. He concerns me. He would have to concern anyone who cares about our nation. Corker saying Mr. Trump is treating the presidency like a reality show, remarking, I know for a fact that every single day at the White House is a situation of trying to contain him. Corker's blunt criticism coming after the president bashed him in a barrage of tweets Sunday morning, suggesting Corker begged him to endorse him for re-election. Corker flatly denying that account and calling the White House an adult daycare center. Secretary Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and uh, Chief of Staff Kelly uh, are those people that help separate our country from chaos. This is the Trump administration effectively derails any potential deal with Democrats to protect dreamers, unveiling a long list of demands in exchange for a legislative solution. Among them, curbing funding for sanctuary cities, a crackdown on unaccompanied minors from Central America, and funding the border wall. Democratic leadership denouncing the White House proposal, saying the administration can't be serious about compromise or helping the Dreamers if they begin with a list that is anathema to the Dreamers. This proposal fails to represent any attempt at compromise. All this while Vice President Mike Pence is facing criticism for amplifying the president's feud with the NFL. The VP walking out of Sunday's Indianapolis Colts game after some players knelt during the national anthem. President Trump quickly taking credit, tweeting that he asked Pence to leave if any players knelt, a protest it seems the White House expected. The vice president traveled from Las Vegas, where he was paying tribute to the victims of the massacre, to Indianapolis for the game, and then back to Los Angeles. CNN estimates the travel cost to be around a quarter of a million dollars. Had Pence skipped the game, it would have been substantially lower. Last time he's been to the Colts games three years ago. So this looks like a PR stunt to me. He knew um, our team has had the most players protests. He knew that we were probably gonna do it again. And so this is what systemic oppression looks like. Wow, they're really getting into it. Yes, they are. Adult daycare, I don't think that's something wise to say to the president. Here's with Hunter Gibson with the weather. Thanks guys, that was some heavy rain this weekend as tropical storm Nate passed over us with lots of power outages and some flash flooding. But things are getting back to normal here. Here's a look at the forecast. Over here today, there's going to be some more rain. Yeah, it's, going to be, it's going to go down a little bit tonight, but then Wednesday, a little bit more rain and later in the day. But then the rest of the week, it's going to be beautiful and perfect. Like you guys said, get outside, have some exercise. Back to you guys. Thanks, Hunter. Now let's look at sports with Sean Bowman. Last night was a busy night in sports and the weekend was even bigger for all the college football lovers. Let's get straight to college football. The national rankings have been all updated. Georgia fans will be happy to see that Georgia has jumped up to number four on the nation's rankings. Penn State University comes in at number three, Clemson is still ranked at number two, and Alabama holds everything steady at number one. Things definitely getting interesting with some upsets that took place this weekend, most notably Michigan State beating favored in Michigan. 
Some of the Spartans sprinting around, hugging others, demanding the Paul Bunyan trophy be produced on the Michigan sidelines. Chris, guess who got up there and made a play on the ball? Joe Bocci. In baseball, the Yankees have tied things up with Cleveland. This sets things up for an interesting game five. Corey Kluber is set to try to make things up for his last outing. Boston got put out by the Houston Astros, so if the Yankees advance, there won't be Boston versus New York. LA knocked out Arizona, and the Cubs gained a two to one to series lead over the Nationals. First pitch, blooper, shallow center, oh. it's gonna fall! And the Notable games for local basketball fans. The Celtics and the Sixers. None of Boston's big three played, but still got the win. Ben Simmons did put up an impressive 15 points for the Sixers. The Atlanta Hawks got a win over the 2-0 Memphis Grizzlies. And the Rockets got a win over the New York Knicks. James Harden impressed with the 36 points. Those are some of the most noteworthy NBA games for a crazy night of NBA preseason action. That's all for sports. Thank you for today at Chat State. Thanks, Sean Bowman. Well, that's it for today at Chat State. Be sure to check us out online and on Wall TV in the amphitheater. Have a great day.